Hey, what's up guys? This is Figures of Action Reviews and I'm finally coming to you guys and showing you this haul that I managed to pick up in the last two weeks. Uh, I should have had this video out, so I apologize for, you know, making this late video, but it's summertime. I got a regular job. <laughs> I have a nine to five that I enjoy doing. And also I'm a family man. So when I'm not working, the first thing I do when I get home is I'm kicking in with the fam. I'm taking the kids outside or, you know, I'm rolling out with my kids. It's summertime with them and I'm trying to, you know, get them out and keep them occupied. So, you know, they like spending time with dad and, you know, kicking in with the wife and all. And basically just, you know, I have a full day and I enjoy my day. But I also enjoy, you know, going out to the stores and going for the toy hunts. And then I also enjoy bringing this information to you guys, letting you guys know where I found, you know, so when you guys hit the comments and you, you say, well, I found it at this area or I found it at, at this area. Now, one thing is, I, I will tell you, I am kind of jelly on, I'm jealous of, of them cats that got these DDs, man, because I didn't see y'all videos. I seen your videos of y'all going into DDs and finding these amazing prices on these figures. I'm like, man, I was like, I wish we had a DDs, man. All we got is bargain hunt and bargain hunt is not really a bargain per se. I mean, it's lower than what you would normally find stuff like uh, some of the WWE figures, the ultimates. Now, those ultimate figures are what, like 30 bucks. And I think uh, bargain hunt had a couple for $14. I mean, that's cool. You know, $14 is that's about a little less than half. So, you know what I'm saying? That That's not that's not a look down on that i mean that's that's pretty dope but from what i found with uh other figures multi lines is not that deep of a discount from especially definitely not beating ross they definitely not beating that 399 now merman tila with the immaculate head scope i i really like this head scope on tila mattel did her right and I mean, they do a lot of the multi line right. Mattel does a lot of the multi line right, which is why I understand why a lot of people like collecting it. You know, the figures are nice. Um, the few that I've had, I've had uh, He Man, the uh, another version of He Man. I think it was like the 40th anniversary, and then I had the the Revelation Skeletor. This is the new Eternia Skeletor, and I mean for three ninety nine, yo. I mean, come on. And I really give it to them because all of the accessories they put in hasbro you can really learn from mattel you can really learn from them especially when it comes to that gi joe line how hard is it for them to just give us some extra hands now they did they did do it with the new retro cards you know with duke scarlet um Ricondo, and they're starting to do it with the other ones that they're they're putting out but come on hasbro you know get it together get it together man give us some more accessories you know especially in the hands and head department but yeah this is what i found at ross so you guys might want to be on the lookout uh in your raw stores especially if you're a motu collector so you know what i'm saying you might be able to find some of these let's keep it pushing what we have next is gamestop so I don't know how many of you all are GameStop Pro members, but it's like 20 some bucks for a year. Now, the one thing I can say is that I don't buy, I don't visit GameStop to buy games per se, because I mean, unless I really want a physical copy, but what my main interest in going into GameStop are their figures. And with that Game Pro, um, that GameStop Pro account, what happens is, is that GameStop, will, when they do run a clearance sale like this, so Brian Cage was $7.97, but pro member price $7.57, 40 cents off. Kenny Omega was like uh, eight bucks. The thing is, is that GameStop will run this deal, whereas they'll do a clearance deal where it's buy one, get one free, or sometimes they'll do a buy one, get two free. Now this time they were doing the buy one, get one free deal. And so when I picked up Brian Cage, and Kenny Omega, I ended up getting both of these for eight dollars and some change. So basically, two figures for far lower than the price of one. And I mean, I couldn't look that down. I have the AEW action ring uh, that Ross was selling a while ago for like seven ninety nine. I, I did pick up one of those. So 
I do plan on using these, you know what I'm saying? And I like that ring because it's blank and there's stickers on it that you put the stickers on, but I don't plan on putting no stickers on there. I plan on creating my own little fighting association, kind of like King of Fighters if you're a fighting game fan. You know what I'm saying? So I plan on using these guys in photo shoots and not just sticking to the AEW wrestling, but you know what I'm saying? Putting them up against like Ryu and some other characters as well, having my own fight series. So that'll come down the line, you know, when I get things together. Cause right now we're in the jungle. We're in the jungle, but one day we're gonna make it up out this jungle. We're gonna make it to a different venue. We're gonna be in some kind of stadium or we're gonna be out there in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You never know when the pop-up's gonna change. But right now, right now we, we, we getting it out the mud out the grass we getting it out the grass so i'm saying we're gonna make it out the jungle one day let's keep it moving now what i did pick up from walmart and i had been looking for two of these figures for a long time uh renegade shadow i have alexa mecha fusion i have a sludge and I did not have this sweetheart though. I did not have the TNT and ghost. I have the red version that was selling at Ollie's with the glider. I did pick her up a while ago, but I had always been looking for the ghost version and I finally found that at Walmart. Now, and if you, if you caught on or if you heard me in one of my previous videos, I am a reseller. So I did pick up multiple versions. So I did get about three of these, three Leica, um, Mecha Fusions. I got three Renegade Shadows, two Sludge, and just one of TNT, TNTinas. So I'm keeping this one, keeping one of the Renegade Shadows because I don't have him and I have been looking to uh, get him. I've been looking to get him. So I am going to keep one. I'm going to sell the others. And I'm going to sell the other sludge and the Lexa Mecha Fusions. Now, I made some shorts detailing that, hey man, be selective in what you buy. And considering that these figures, I've had my eye on them because they were at Walmart and they were at Walmart for $22. And I watched them, they marked them down from $22 to $17, which if you can see, it, there's like multiple stickers on here so i think they went from like 22 to 17 to 13 to 6 so that's what they normally do like on a thursday on a random thursday you know walmart and target both you know every other thursday or so they'll come by and they'll switch the prices you know and you can tell because right here she was 22 bucks and she's seven dollars now walmart will slap that 22 dollars on there uh, and tell you, oh, it's a clearance, but it's really not a clearance. It's a way for them to make extra room and spaces um, for newer inventory in the other toy section. So they can put these in the clearance aisles and they'll put all of them in the clearance aisles. They'll be like $22 and then they'll have more room to put other newer inventory where they usually will put these figures. So that's what Walmart does. And I mean, hey, it is what it is. They take two dollars off and then they call, they call it a clearance but me and you both know that's not a clearance you know what i'm saying that ain't a clearance walmart just you know what i'm saying they just running a little, little scam real quick so they can just throw it in the clearance section and make room that's all they doing but they actually did run a clearance and a real clearance and i managed to pick some up so check your local walmarts you know what i'm saying especially if you're a fortnite, fortnite character collector now i had like i said i've been looking for renegade shadow and tnt the ghost version i have been looking for them for a while so to actually see them you know on proper clearance man you know i picked them up so and don't look at me as a filthy reseller because i'm not one of those that either jacks the price all the way up you know what i'm saying trying to take advantage of people this is just a side hustle i like to do if I see it for $6, then you better believe that more than likely I'm selling it for like 12 or 13 plus shipping and handling. You know, look, hey, you can play that free shipping game if you want to. But once eBay start beating your head in on it, on you sending something from Georgia to California, you then you end up going into the negative. You'll realize real quick how to how this game go. But anyway, so um, I'll be keeping those guys and keeping a few of these and then I'll be selling the others. And now let's clear these off. Now, I have been hearing about Bucky Cap for a while and other people, you know, in their videos and reviews. And I really didn't think too much of it. But sometimes I go to Hasbro Post and I browse the outlet section just to see what they have on, you know, Markdown. And sure enough, the man himself, 
Bucky Barnes as Captain America, you know, when he stepped in to fill in the role for Captain America and they had him for, they still have him up there on the outlet for $16.89 or something like that. And I figured, you know, that's less than full price. And I mean, hey, $16.89, yeah, I'll buy Bucky. I'll buy um, Bucky Cap. And we're going to open him up too because we're going to see exactly what he's like. Uh, and lastly, out of the hall, the Power Rangers Omega. I recently said that I am not a Power Rangers collector and I really am not. I don't collect Power Rangers. I buy them out of the Ross and Burlington Co. factories. I'll buy them when they're on deep discount and I'll resell them because they do sell well. Well, um, like especially like the Lost Galaxy versions. I mean, they do sell. And but when I saw this, this is normally this pack was like normally like 100 bucks or like 90 some dollars. And they marked it down to about $30, $38. So, I mean, that was a deep discount. It was a deep enough discount for me to buy them because not only was it the price, but when I actually looked at the figures themselves, I mean, the figures themselves are nice. And with the accessories that they come with, I mean, I was all good to go with that. $38 for, you know, four figures. Yeah. And for decent looking figures at that. Yeah, I was good with that. So I guess now, man, you can call me a Power Ranger collector. You know what I'm saying? I said I wasn't, but since I had these and I'm not selling them, I'm keeping them for my own private collection. And since you can't just have just can't just have these guys with no enemies to fight or no allies to go with them. Now, I will tell you, I'm only interested in collecting the Power Ranger figures, you know, that uh don't have those uh especially for the female characters that don't have those round elbows you know where did the arm just rolls around and you just roll it around i'm looking for the double jointed figures i'm also looking for, for figures that basically i think look nice so when i start collecting them i'm not collecting those weird figures like you know the, the guy that looks like a nothing but eyeballs not interested in that however the one that looks like a a, a sphinx uh, and the discount action figure dude actually covered that guy. He had him. So if I find him in Ollie's, I'm picking him up. I've also actually seen like this pumpkin in Ollie's. He's like a monster figure. I think he looked ridiculous. So I'm not picking that up. Um, Goldar, I've seen him in one of my local comic book stores. And I think they wanted 20 bucks for him. So I might go back there and pick him up. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, I'm, I'm definitely in a power. I'm definitely a Power Rangers collector now. So, you know. We're going to open this up, too, because we're going to get into this. But let's not keep you guys waiting. Let's pop this open. Let's get it cut open. Let's, let's see what's going on with these figures. Yo, and here we are. And I must say, I am very impressed with the Power Rangers Omega Rangers. I am very impressed with these figures. I mean, they look nice. I mean, they cool at that, man. I mean, super dope figures. And I mean, I... I I can't say, man. Uh, I'm not disappointed. 38 bucks, four figures, and I'm really impressed with them. And let's take this guy. So, I mean, Hasbro did a pretty good job. I mean, they did a, a pretty good job with these figures. And I'm definitely liking, you know, the sickle with the chain. This is, uh, to me, I just, uh, I just like, wow. The fact that this little piece right here is, is, um, flexible. I mean, it's, it's like rubber, but it's not, it's not, you know, it, it's not, um, restrictive. So as you can see, I can easily pull it around his back and it flexes and it gives him some, some, uh, actually gives some leeway to like pose in different in different arrangements different fig different uh oh uh, uh, bending it the wrong way whoops and i caused all of them to fall <laughs> but anyway like i mean the articulation on these are, are very nice uh, i'm i'm thoroughly impressed with these figures it it blew my mind at how how good these figures look but also how good they pose i mean it's a little stiff but if you warm it up i mean and not all of them are stiff. I think like, like the red, red Omega Ranger was 
pretty easily to pose. So, I mean, as you can see, like this bag, this piece, they're, they have their weapons. They also have an extra set of hands in the bag. They have the special effects that go on their weapons. I mean, overall, I am really impressed with these. You know, they got ab crunch too, but they also have a, a mid swivel. So it's kind of like, you know, it, it, it's just, it blew me away. Uh, I'm very impressed with these, especially like with the swords and, and the look. I definitely can set up for a, a multitude of arrangements as, as far as like uh, battle, battle photo shoots. Uh, blue, I'm liking the trident on here. That was a nice, take the effect off real quick. But blue with this trident was uh, really dope. And I like yellow with the hammer. That, that uh, now I will say that uh, special effect for that hammer is very thick. So it makes it very heavy. Um, you'll be get better poses out of posing a hammer as a smash down versus having that effect on top. And I learned that. But overall, man, I am highly impressed with these figures. And if you think you would like to start your Power Ranger collection, I would start with these Omega Rangers from Hasbro Pulse that are at now $38. I mean, do the math. $38, but let's say, even if you do plus tax, 40 bucks, right? $40 and you get four figures. That's 10 bucks a figure. And these aren't just your, your run of the mill Power Rangers Lightning collection. These are the Omega Rangers line. That box art is nice, but also you get all of these special effects, the weapons, and you get some extra hands. So, let's get this so you can see them. So they also get extra hands in there. And these are, um, you know, like closed fists. So, the way you can see it, yeah. So they all come with uh, an extra set of hands. But man, I am very impressed with these. So let's move on to Bucky Cap. I've been waiting to pop him out of the box and see exactly what he how he's gonna pose. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. Before I forget. Before I forget. Let me let me say, I did pick up this Muhammad Ali, and you know it's rare that we get boxing figures, you know, with gloves and all that. But when uh, they brought out this Muhammad Ali figure, Target put him on sale for thirteen dollars, I think thirteen eighty nine or something like that, and I bought two, one to take out the box, one to keep in the box. I don't know, maybe they may have a re release or another one. Who knows? All I know is they were on sale. I bought one, kept in one's in the closet up top. And this one is going to be the one I open. And it's going to be the one I use when I open up that AEW ring and start doing, you know, like fight night and all that and taking different photo shoots. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. I mean, because I thought maybe he might stick around for a while, but I have four targets in my area and nearest me and none of the targets that I have been going to have him anymore. All the Muhammad Ali's are sold out, all of them. So maybe they're in your area, you know, maybe they sticking around in your area, but for mine, they're gone. Only thing in there is those half price Sultan, uh, Captain Lou Albano and uh, those Hulk Hogan figures. Other than that, Muhammad Ali figures are gone. And that is at least for my area. And back to it. Bucky Cap, another figure that I'm really impressed with. I like the color, the look. Oh, stand up, y'all! Don't make us look bad. But I'm um, definitely, I'm liking the shield. I like the fact they give him a tactical knife. They also give him the gun with the silencer. I'm also gr happy that they put, um, they put the hole, the hole right here because if you have any uh, fire and effect features, you can go ahead and put that in there instead of having to you know get a little mini drill and make one in there like you previously had to with some of the other marvel legend figures i had to do it for uh maverick i had to drill a small hole so i could put my uh fire and effect in there and his guns so uh if you haven't seen it go you can look at it you can see it it's on the video where i did the 
multi packs we should have gotten. Uh, the first one with uh, I had it with Wolverine, Sabretooth, and Maverick, and I talked about that. And I actually have the fire effects where I drilled a small hole into his weapons and then put those uh, fire effects in there. But uh, but with Bucky Cap man, just need a little heating up. You know, he fresh out the box, so he'll give it a little stiff, but not a problem. Not an issue. Bring that leg out. And of course, it comes with the shield. You know, it clamps on. I'm glad they did this where it clamps on and you don't have to like, you know, try to slide it through the hand and try to remove the hand and then slide it through on the arm and have it resting on the arm. It can just basically clamp on to the to the um to the bottom of the fist and you can keep it moving like that. Um his articulation. Oh, and we yeah, we can get it we can get a decent kick out of that. You know? Kick in the door, wave in the full four. <laughs> uh get like a high kick. Uh kick you in your jaw. You get the high kick in there. But I'm liking the colors that you know this is very uh also related highly related to the comics and it's basically looking just like he was when he was in the comics and this is the outfit that he wore. Uh, I think it was the Punisher. Was it the Punisher or Falcon who approached him on the Capitol steps? It was at night they were talking and he was dressed like uh, Captain America. He was talking about him taking over the role while Captain America was out of commission. But uh, overall, this figure looks nice. And as you see, they have the hole right there so you can take the shield off. Pop it in and Insert it into the back. So now he's rocking the shield on his back. Justice and freedom. So yeah, I'm I'm really impressed with this figure too. He also, you know, there's the knife, with the holster, gun holster right there. Man, this figure looks good, man. It looks good. So hey, you guys, if you've been waiting uh, on the fence about pushing the button, I mean, here he is, live, center, and direct. I mean, you take a look at them for yourself. You know, let me know what you think about it. But for 16 bucks, yeah, I'll pick them up. I mean, it's better than full price. So, yeah. But uh, with that, man, this is Figures of Action Reviews. This is the haul I got. And I'm signing out. Hey, man, y'all enjoy having y'all collection. Peace.